exploring the car with host rock style though hardcore driving additions baby I'm on my way to go see Mika my other half my partner in crime um, yeah we gotta do some work tonight even though I just worked a full day of hard ass labor I gotta do some work. I gotta schedule some appointments. I got to do some paperwork, some files. Uh, there's a few things I gotta do. Also, everybody, please subscribe for free to my Podomatic for Spiral Radio. I pay for that site. I pay for the bandwidth and for the storage. It's a podcast platform, and I have every episode of Spiral Radio up on there. And that's only for a limited time. That's going to be every episode, because once I get to about 40 episodes, I have about 37 now. Um, I only have room, storage space for about 40 or 45 episodes. So I'm only going to keep the newest 40 at all times. So, uh, the only place you'll be able to have full access to all episodes is on my website. And there's going to be a subscriber website for about $5 a month that I'm in the process of making now that is going to be have more in-depth Naga files. Um, all insider information that I have um, prophecies stuff that I don't reveal only for my subscribers I'm going to have stuff just for my subscribers so that and Spiral Radio t-shirts and Exploring the Ka t-shirts will be available really soon So, um, wow, the sky is amazing right now. I almost want to stop the video so I can take a picture of the freaking clouds. Wow, that is intense. I want to show you guys these clouds real quick because it looks like fingers coming down as well. I mean, the sky is amazing right now. Pretty dope. So, uh, I've been talking about the Vega star interest ancestry. Lyra, which um, I have a lot of past life connections and soul experience with both Lyrans and Vega, Vegans, Vegans, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's even though NASA might not have found them, I'm not sure, or whatever, but there's a whole solar system surrounding the star Vega. And one of these planets has these plant humanoid type beings I've been talking about. And all of these races, well, not all, but a majority of these races have a, are part of this federation or council, and the Anu Center on the moon is a center for storage, 
soul storage, information storage, particles of light storage. When a soul dies and it passes through the lunar realm, when a, when a person dies and their soul, their soul energy passes, leaves the body and goes towards the lunar realm through the moon portal. The light, which equals the information that was accumulated or awakened throughout that incarnation is extracted.
a symbol for the warrior, the protective plant, guardians of knowledge inside of the rose stem is encoded information that spans eons of time as long as the rose has been on Gaia it has been recording all the battles all the thoughts of every man and woman and child, any beast that's ever lived, anything that's ever been on Earth, on this planet, has been recorded inside of the rose stem. And the ones that guard this, guard this, are called the Three Ladies of the Night. And these are extraterrestrial beings that have basically hijacked interdimensional gateways and access to our consciousness through media technology, computers, everything. Not only that, but they are masters of invading dream time, soul time, your astral time. And they will appear as three beautiful women, sometimes one at a time. They bear the knowledge of the inner mysteries. And they are here to not only add to the power of their magic, but to claim souls to harvest humans, to harvest souls to build their army for in, when in, in about 12,000 years from now is when they return to their home planet and assume complete control of Gaia. about 300,000 years has been taken over by the dark. The Draco and their hierarchies have basically hijacked our planet for a couple hundred thousand years now and installed material plane trap into our existence. And, um, you see, witchcraft in general, magic in general, everyone thinks it's being in harmony with nature, and it is, it's part of it, but this nature on our planet has been seeded here, so it's not natural to Gaia. This has all been brought here, this has all been terraformed. technology that I'm talking through to you through now has been here from ETs. We 
basically are part caveman and part fallen angel. Or part caveman, part alien. We have tons of species within our DNA. And like I said, Our, our moon, what we see as the moon, I've said it before, it's an astral base. It's a way station between realms. And this is where information within our souls, particles of light that are both dormant and awakened throughout our lifetime, are harvested. duplicated files stored in the living library then wiped from that soul's memory or if you want to say unplugged as the soul awaits new entry Anu Center, or if you want to call it the Anunnaki Recycling Center. And I would say that there are a couple of hundred thousand entities within the moon's core and on the shadows of the moon. sure if we as a as a planet if our if NASA if we were even there at all we definitely for sure fake some pictures and if we were even there at all it would surprise me associate the rose plant with Venus as well and you see Venus was once home to some of these beings the back. 
back of the brain stem and explodes inside the brain. It interweaves. your DNA and your genetic structure. You see the the Seraphim or the Grigori Watchers, whatever you want to call these beings, they are they speak in these symbols, in these sigils, and they have sigils encoded up and down their spine same as us. Our bones are encoded with sigils. And um, all of these symbols and sigils are encoded in our DNA, in our genetic structure. And when the body the soul's body, when the oversoul passes through the lunar realm and is at the way station, the moon way station, this is when these sigils and this information is downloaded into the moon storage facility or whatever you want to call it and these translucent beings are what soul looks like before I feel it's it's what this what we look like in humanoid form as just particles of light and information without the physical body it's the extracted if you want to say extracted light body Sometimes one is incarnated not only right before birth, but sometimes an incarnation happens in the middle of one's life. It's rare, but sometimes an incarnation takes place. 30 years old, your Saturn's return at around 29 years old, 29 and a half years old, sometimes a soul has a, a new incarnation where your body receives a download Spiral out.